Hi Cancers, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Cancer and Capricorn on Thursdays. Also, the deck that I'm using today is called the Gilded Tarot. And if you guys are interested in getting a personal reading, my information is in the description below. Also, just as a heads up, sometimes the cards like to flip over in the deck. I do see them. However, I usually only take jumpers like these ones. And usually if they jump out in groups that are too big, I'll go ahead and put them back and continue shuffling. But my main goal here is to get you guys roughly eight or nine cards, and then we can get started on your reading. All right, Cancer. So, uh, just as a heads up, if you guys enjoy the reading or if it really resonates with you guys, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like or a comment. But your overall all energy here is the Devil card. Now, the Devil card can be a kind of a scary card when it comes up, but it doesn't have to be, right? So the Devil is just representative of some kind of a toxic energy in our life, right? And it's actually very interesting because the Devil can really cover so many things. Uh, a lot of decks will depict it as hypersexuality or entrapment, uh, vices sometimes, uh, just overall sinister energy. Like, it just really depends on each individual tarot deck's depiction of the devil. And in this deck, you can see that this person is just has this, like, threatening, sinister, intimidating tone about them. So I'm thinking that, like, this is kind of somebody who is having uh, power through suppression right now. So... I think that right now you may be in a situation where someone wants to keep you quiet and, you know, <clears throat> looking a little bit further ahead in the reading, yeah, you have the Eight of Swords, which talks about being bound and not being able to act freely. And then you have cards like the World card and the Ace of Swords, which talk about communication and putting an end to that kind of a situation. So I'm seeing there's a lot of really good energy here as well to really counteract this kind of not so positive energy here um like i was saying part of what the devil encompasses is sort of this energy of being bound and tied up and not being able to be free right and then i see the seven of swords here so the seven of swords is a very nasty sort of low vibrational person right so this person is a liar, a cheater, a stealer, right? This card is oftentimes known as the lying, cheating, stealing card. So I'm thinking that for a lot of you guys, you guys are dealing with somebody who is very low vibrational, who has these sort of like devil tendencies in the sense that they want to suppress you, right? They want to keep you quiet because I think that you know information that they don't want other people to know. And, you know, I'm seeing this Ace of, Sor uh, Ace of Cups here in reverse, uh, and the Ace of Cups in reverse, I think is a good sign because the Ace of Cups usually to me talks about a new beginning in love. So I feel like you're kind of missing a connection with this person, like it's not taking place. And I think that that's honestly for the better because I'm seeing this person to be a not very good person, right? Uh, 
And then the other interpretation I'm getting for this Ace of Cups in reverse is that because of this person, you may have not been able to follow through on another love offer, right? Another new beginning in love. But, you know, I do know that when we see the Ace of Cups, we know that there is sort of like a divine element to this offer and to this opportunity, right? So, you know, when the universe wants to give you something or you need to have something, there is no energy that will stop that besides yourself manifesting something different, right? So I don't think that this person is going to stop sort of like the natural flow of things. Uh, it's just a matter of you, I think, accepting the energy in perhaps a different way. But either way, I see the Four of Cups here with the Knight of Wands. So the Four of Cups to me is a card about dissatisfaction. So I think that you're obviously upset and dissatisfied with the situation because it feels like you're being suppressed, like you can't speak freely, uh, censored, I feel. Uh, like this person just does not want you to talk. They don't want you to s speak your opinion because your opinion, uh, I think, will hurt them or like your side of the story. This person feels very controlling in that sense. This person feels like they're trying to really manipulate everything behind the scenes and make sure that everyone only hears their side of the story. And that's why you have this Knight of Wands because the Knight of Wands is a message. I feel like it's your message because you have this Four of Cups here. Like, the I feel like by the end of the situation when you're able to speak freely on the topic, you're basically going to write an expose, right? Like... And the reason I know that is because you have this Ace of Swords, right? And the Ace of Swords is a very strong energy because it's a new beginning, everything that has to do with the mental uh, faculties. So I'm thinking that for a lot of you guys, you're going to see sort of the spike in your communication after this situation is over. And part of the reason I know that is because we have the World card. The World card is the final arcana in the tarot so you guys are going to end on a lot of what's the opposite of loose ends right like you're going to tie up all those loose ends and it's going to be a very airtight kind of finale right i don't think that you guys are really going to have anything that you feel like you need to attend to afterwards i feel like this is going to be a total new beginning right because what do endings bring they bring new beginnings right i used to hear that Endings and beginnings are the same thing, just packaged differently. And I feel like when this comes to pass, you guys are going to be able to really reap the benefits of having this newfound communication. And I don't think it's like your abilities of communication or anything like that. I feel like it's going to be your just sort of like freedom to openly communicate. I'm getting it for some of you, this might actually be a family member because the devil card is actually the card of Capricorn, which is sort of the father of the Zodiac. So I'm thinking that for a lot of you guys, you might be having some issues either with a father who is being a little bit too um, authoritarian in the sense that not, they're not allowing you to express yourself or just someone in your family in general, but it doesn't have to be, right? And I think that part of this has to do with kind of like financial suppression, right? Like I worry when I see a card like the devil because that's uh, that could easily be sort of like a very abusive personality. And I see that there's the Eight of Swords uh, and the Eight of Pentacles together. So the Eight of Pentacles is advancement through your career, and then the Eight of Swords is talks about being trapped and binded, right? You can see that this woman is uh, not able to escape and not able to do much on her own because she's tied up, right? She can't do anything. So I'm worried that for some of you guys, this energy is going to manifest itself in a way where you are not able to take the reins of your own finances and be financially independent. Um... But I know that for some of you, it's going to manifest in the opposite direction, right? You're going to be able to finally escape this situation by becoming financially independent. So I think that the best 
the advice that I could give you is obviously talk to somebody about your particular situation, right? These are general readings, so they don't apply specifically to everyone in their situations. But I can definitely see that there's people around you that you can trust because we have the world card, which tells me that whatever the situation is, it's going to come to an end. And for some of you, it might do so on its own. But I think that for most of you, you should try to take as an active role in this as possible. And I think that for a lot of you guys, you will, and you probably already have, because you have this four of cups that, you know, tells us that we have that discontent for this situation. And I'm real proud of you guys. But that was your reading first time around, Cancer. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But like I said before, I upload my new Cancer videos on Thursdays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have on the channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.